Reinforcement learning has played a crucial role in shaping the highly capable large language models that we rely on today. From reinforcement learning from human feedback, which is used to align models with human preferences, to reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards on code and math datasets that enhance long-form reasoning, it's clear that reinforcement learning is a powerful tool in the AI landscape. Yet, despite its success, reinforcement learning has not yet been widely integrated into the pre-training stage of large language models. In this video, we'll explore a recent paper from Microsoft titled Reinforcement Pre-Training, which introduces a novel mechanism called Next Token Reasoning to apply reinforcement learning directly on the pre-training data. To understand this paper, let's start with a quick recap of how large language models are typically trained. There are three main stages in the training process of LLMs, the first stage is pre-training, where the model is trained on massive amounts of text and code to learn general purpose knowledge. This step helps the model to become proficient at predicting the next token in a sequence. For example, given an input like write a bedtime, the model would be able to complete it with a reasonable continuation, such as story. However, after the pre-training stage, the model still struggles to follow instructions. To address this, we have the second stage, which is supervised fine-tuning. In this stage, the model is fine-tuned on an instruction dataset. This step teaches the model how to respond more helpfully, but it is not the focus of this video. In practice, large language models continue to be improved in a third stage, which is where reinforcement learning typically comes in. A common method is reinforcement learning from human feedback, or RLHF in short, where the model learns from responses scored by humans. However, collecting high-quality human feedback at large scale, especially for complex tasks, is expensive and time-consuming. Therefore, another common approach is reinforcement learning from AI feedback, or RLAIF in short, where another model provides the feedback. For reinforcement learning from AI feedback to work well, a highly capable model is needed, so the feedback it provides will be of high quality. One concern with reinforcement learning is reward hacking, when the model discovers a loophole or unintended way to maximize the reward which does not align with the desired goal. This concern is mitigated quite well using reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards, or RLVR in short. In this setup, the reward is determined using predefined rules. For example, given a math question, the reward for the model's answer is determined based on whether the answer is correct. Starting with DeepSeq R1, reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards has become popular for developing reasoning capabilities in large language models. However, this kind of training relies on domain-specific datasets where verifiable rewards are available. Ok, so after this recap, we know that reinforcement learning is typically used in post-training of large language models. Another important observation is that the size of the pre-training data, which consists of huge text corpus, is orders of magnitude larger than the size of data used for reinforcement learning, which either relies on feedback data or domain-specific datasets. What if we could somehow use all that pre-training data for reinforcement learning? That's exactly what's being proposed by reinforcement pre-training, or RPT in short. The key idea is to reframe the next token prediction task as a new reinforcement learning task called next token reasoning. It is important to note that reinforcement pre-training does not replace the original pre-training. Instead, it introduces an additional stage to the training process that aligns the pre-training more closely with reinforcement learning. This should be a better starting point for subsequent post-training reinforcement learning. To understand what the authors mean by next token reasoning, let's look at the following figure from the paper. In the top right, we see a snippet of text from the pre-training corpus. On the top left, we see the standard next token prediction setup that is used in traditional pre-training, where given some context, the model simply predicts the next token. Now look at the bottom part of the figure. This shows how next token reasoning works. Instead of directly predicting the next token, the model is asked to first generate a chain of thought reasoning sequence and then return its final prediction for the next token. This approach transforms each token prediction into a reasoning task. Now we can learn how reinforcement learning is applied with next token reasoning during the training process using the following figure from the paper. The researchers apply a reinforcement learning algorithm called Group Relative Policy Optimization, or GRPO in short, the same method used to train DeepSeq R1. We covered GRPO in a previous video which you can find linked in the description. Given a context, we sample multiple outputs from the LLM. 
Specifically, for next token reasoning, this gives us a group of outputs with different reasoning traces and different predictions for the next token. To train the model, we use the actual next token from pre-training data as the ground truth label. This allows us to calculate a verifiable reward for each sampled output. There can be more than a single correct response, and the reward is calculated for each response based on the correctness of the predicted next token and relatively to the other responses in that group. The model is then updated to prefer the correct responses. One major benefit we get with reinforcement pre-training is the increase in scale of reinforcement learning data. To illustrate that, let's take a look at the following figure from the paper. Without reinforcement pre-training, we can think of the pre-training dataset as a large cake, with a much smaller reinforcement learning dataset as just a cherry on top. But with reinforcement pre-training, using next token reasoning, we now have a cherry cake, meaning that the whole pre-training corpus becomes usable for reinforcement learning. Let's now take a look at some of the results presented in the paper. The researchers evaluate reinforcement pre-training using the OmniMath benchmark with R1 Distill Quen 14b as the base model. OmniMath is a benchmark designed to test large language models on Olympiad-level mathematical reasoning. It consists of competition-grade problems from various math subdomains. So, does reinforcement pre-training actually improve the model's ability to predict the next token? In the following table, we see the next token prediction accuracy across three difficulty levels, easy, medium, and hard. These levels are determined using another large language model based on the entropy of its predictions. Higher entropy means the next token is harder to predict. R1 Distill is the base model for the reinforcement pre-training model called RPT shown at the bottom of the table. At the top, we see Quen 2.5, the base model for R1 Distill. Across all difficulty levels, RPT outperforms the base models, showing a better next token prediction accuracy using next token reasoning. An impressive result is shown in another figure from the paper. On the x-axis, we see the model size, and on the y-axis, we see the next token prediction accuracy. We see that RPT with 14 billion parameters achieves comparable performance to R1 QN 32B, a model more than twice its size. Another interesting chart shows how reinforcement pre-training scales with compute. The x-axis represents the training compute, and the y-axis shows the next token prediction accuracy. The curves correspond to the different difficulty levels. We see a healthy scaling trend, whereas we allocate more compute, the accuracy is improved across all difficulty levels. Another interesting question is whether reinforcement pre-training provides a stronger foundation for subsequent reinforcement learning. In the following table, we see what happens when we continue to train both the base model at the top row and the RPT model at the bottom row on another reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards dataset. Both models improve with this subsequent reinforcement learning. The improvement size is slightly larger for RPT, which also outperforms the base model by a large margin. In the middle row, we see that when the base model is trained using next token prediction objective on the same data, it drastically loses its reasoning capabilities. If you found this content valuable, please subscribe and hit the like button to support the channel. We also send one minute read summaries by mail about the papers we review here. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more reviews of AI papers.